Hello. Welcome to Workout Wine to Win Wednesday. I am Tori, your host and founder of OurGivenPurpose.com. I am a redeemed daughter of Christ, a theology student, podcaster, speaker, photographer, and vlogger. I am a happily married wife of 20 years to my beloved and mother to our two sons. Welcome to this space. So with keeping these videos a little bit shorter because they're really here to be a little motivating, I'm gonna quickly run through what you will get on this channel. Mindset Monday, Workout Wine to Win Wednesday, and Fine Tune Friday. I'll have a list of all of that in the description. I'm praying that if it is nice where you are today, that you will be inspired to get outside and enjoy God's beauty. That is what Workout Wine to Win Wednesday is about. I am going to hike the trails today. So I am going to just take you along with me and um, we're going to do some hiking. So I hope you all will enjoy the content of this video and I will pop back in and out just sharing some things that um, God has laid on my heart this morning and showing you how or telling you how God turns my frowns upside down because really I go from wanting to winning and we win every day when we purposefully follow God's commands. We're getting ready to do our hike. We are. We're getting ready to go. We're out here. We're going to do this. It's beautiful. It's lovely. That's that guy. He's going to. We're off. Let's go. So I want to share just a little bit of my um, prayer and meditation uh, and Bible study from this morning with you. And my question to God was, or not even my question, what happens is the Holy Spirit, as I'm reading through, um, I was looking at the, the Psalms. And if you ever, if you read the Psalms outside of the King James Bible, or you have one that has the commentary and the historical notes in it, you will find a little brief summary at the very top of that Psalm before you start reading. And it'll tell you who wrote it, who possibly wrote it, and what was happening when they wrote it or where that prayer came from. And I started thinking, I said, wow, where do my prayers come from? What is it? What should I put above my prayers when I'm journaling, when I am just talking to God, and I actually have written it down because I think it's important. This is just a little offside tip. When you are writing down your prayers, make sure that you, you date it, and especially if it's a request, if it's a request for yourself, for your family, for a friend, that you jot down the, the date. And when you go back, you can see how God answered that prayer. And it's always amazing to say, wow, he answered that a long time ago. I have been praying and asking for it. And I didn't realize that he had already given that to me. And I'm just now taking that in. And I think that's beautiful about how that's beautiful, how God works and how wonderfully, just how wonderful, awesome our God is. Okay. Little regroup. All right. So. I was thinking, you know, with my prayers, what should go in the header section? Suffered through X, Y, Z, was able to endure the day because she prayed for strength. I mean, what would that look like for you? I want you to, you know, when you're going through your prayer meditation and your journaling time, what would you put at the beginning before your actual prayer? What would you say? What would be your state of mind or your exact circumstance? Because when I start praying, I try my best to start off with gratefulness because regardless of what is happening or what's going on, I am grateful to be able to pray. So even that is a blessing and something to be remembered. The other small thing I was hit with was I had a real, I had a, a moment where I felt like I had no knowledge whatsoever. And I don't know if you all have ever been in a position where you felt like you knew absolutely nothing in light of someone else. And they made sure that you knew that you knew nothing on the topic. They just maybe pounded you with questions or just made you feel like, did I go to school? 
Did I learn anything? Do I need to talk to my parents about something? And start doubting and questioning yourself. If you have ever been there, I can relate because I was just there. And what God gave me to say to that person was, you know what? You are smarter and more intelligent than I am. And I will just take your word for it right now. And they, they backed down a little bit and they said, okay, well, let's talk about it a little bit more. And I learned something. I learned a great deal. I can now put that what I was um, taught and I can put it up against the word and see if that still is convicting to my spirit. But I have a point and a reference to go from. Sometimes when we are anxious, when we want to make the best impression or we are just wanting the other, maybe we're having a defeated moment. Maybe we ourselves are feeling, feeling defeated. So we go after someone. But in those situations, we can be the peacemaker. We can find a way to shift. All about shifting. Uh, yesterday in the podcast, I said I had a wow moment. Wisdom over woes. And I think that's so important to remember that do I want to regret this moment going forward? Or do I want to grow in the wisdom that God gives me? Thank you all so much for joining me for today's Workout Wine to Win Wednesday. I pray that it is something that will encourage you, inspire you, and you can see how you are in fact winning with God. Please join me on Friday for Fine Tune Friday and also the podcast. I will leave the link in the description box how you can get to Apple iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify. Also, the media is always on the actual website, so you can play it from there as well. So as long as you are subscribed, hey, are you subscribed to my website as well, where everything is? My website has it all. It's it's all right there. It's one place you can get to the photography, the merchandise, the podcast, the YouTube, and the social media. You can see everything we're doing with OurGivenPurpose.com. So I pray you will subscribe there so you won't miss anything, whether it's on YouTube or a podcast or just in social media. Maybe there's an announcement. Maybe there's something happening. Maybe there's a schedule change that has happened. So the podcasts have been moved to Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I am here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So again, thank you all so much for being here. Have a great day, and I'll see you. Friday.